The Arduino Mega 2560 module runs many of our 3D printers. And some have wanted to move to 32-bit because you get more speed, more memory. They say we've reached a limit of 8-bit, which is what this module is. But I know Arduino, and I know it wasn't written for this type of application. It was really written to teach programming. It's not the most efficient software. So what I wanted to do is compare how much we're losing to the software to see if it's really the 8-bit as a limitation or the Arduino code. So I'm going to compare a simple Arduino program to another compiler and program it on the same hardware. Let's see how much of a difference I get. So I've got a simple program written that drives a pin high and then does a for loop for 250 times and then adds four numbers, one, two, three, four, and then drives that port low for one millisecond. And by putting this on oscilloscope, by monitoring that pin, I can measure how long it takes. It'll go high, it'll do its calculations, and then it'll go low for one millisecond. So if I measure the width of that pulse, it'll tell me how long it took for it to do its 250 for loops, and how long it took to add one, two, three, and four. So let me run that and I'll monitor it on the scope. So now I've got it loaded and it's running and it's putting out the pulse on my scope. And if I move the cursors, I can actually measure the width of that pulse. And it's telling me it took 1.58 milliseconds. Now that's pretty fast. I mean, that's one one thousandth of a second plus another 580 microseconds. So it's one and a half or 1.6 milliseconds but in the world of computing and microcontrollers well that's just average speed so that's our baseline 1.58 milliseconds so now let me try another compiler this is called the great cow basic compiler and even though it's kind of a dumb name it's actually a basic syntax compiler now if you know anything about software you'll say Oh, basic? <laughs> That's an interpreted language. That'll run real slow. But this isn't interpreted. This is a compiler. In fact, it's a compiler that's been around a lot longer than Arduino. And it's been updated many, many times. It just so happens that it's written in basic syntax, which makes it even easier for someone to start programming than it does trying to learn C. So it's hung around because of that, and it's been updated many many times and now the compiler can program both PIC microcontrollers and AVR microcontrollers which is on the Arduino. So now I can write a similar program in that basic syntax and it will produce a pure assembly code which then gets assembled into the ones and zeros the same way Arduino does. So let's run that and I'll show you the program and then we'll install it and see how fast it is. Great Cow Basic program has the same loop of 250 times and adding one, two, three, and four, and storing that in a variable. And then it sets the pin low, so we can measure that pulse width. And I've loaded into the module, and now let's look at the scope. When I check the pulse width, I'm getting 640 microseconds. 640 microseconds versus 1.56 milliseconds. This thing is almost three times faster than the Arduino. It's running the same hardware, it's doing the same function in software, but it's running three times faster, almost three times faster. Now let's look at the memory size. When I look at how much memory it took, it took 292 bytes of memory and two bytes of RAM. And that's all it used of the microcontroller here. Or if I go back to the Arduino, it says it used 1,420 bytes. That's almost five times as much memory. And it's using 11 bytes of RAM, which is five times again. So it's not only faster to use Great Cow Basic, but also uses less memory, five times less memory. So that means I can build a program five times larger based on this simple little program. Now, of course, there's libraries being pulled in on this first run and they won't be reused. So that efficiency starts to shrink as the program gets bigger. But the point is the speed 
should be about the same. So if we really reach the limit of 8-bit and Arduino, just converting it to another compiler, maybe even just a C compiler, would give us a lot more speed and a lot more memory space than Arduino. So it just shows that Arduino is easy to work with and it's a great program to learn programming, but it's not the best program for designing something for production. Certainly not for a product such as a 3D printer. Now it's worked great for us, but before we jump ship and say we got to move to 32-bit, there's a lot more we can do with 8-bit. That's my only point. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos. If you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon goes a long way. And if you want to subscribe, just click on my logo down here. I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hellebuck's Electronic Products and 3D Printing.